24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is Puritans Radio from the Spencer Stadium, the home of Banbury United. And also the home of the Banbury Show, which uh, is broadcasting live across the world and sitting opposite me in the hot seat now. Good morning, Deborah Simmons. Good morning. Now, I was going to say your middle name there, but I wasn't 100% sure how to pronounce it, so I just deliberately skipped straight past that. Menakoff. Ah, Just you. like it's spelled. Well, yes, but um, <laughs> as you... I know, I get me. lots of pronunciations of it. Ah, now... So. It's good to have you on the show, and thanks for spending some time with us, because what a fascinating character you are. I'm perfect for the Bambershire show, because you've moved over from the um, that small little country called America. Yes. Uh, over to uh, good old, um, the, the world's centre of... Uh, <laughs> Where it's all happening. Absolutely. To Bambury, <laughs> which is always fascinating, because, you know, from a... From you coming here to because you you were you were a Texas girl originally I believe I was I was raised in Texas yes and and lived in that small hub of the world <laughs> called New York yes I was born in New York raised in Texas ah. and then went back to New York for university and just stayed there for twenty five years so coming so. to, to um, the hub of the world Banbury it'd be fascinating to to have your insights on the good bad and the ugly so <laughs> what what would you say is the ugly Oh, uh, about Banbury specifically. Well, the area. Um, uh, we were I think, I'll tell you what really struck me the other day. I was walking around town, and you know that enormous, empty, abandoned building next to Matalan, oh, which I'm sure has a name, but I don't know the name of it. It's horrendous, um, isn't it? And I know there's been a sort of tug of war over, you know, can they buy it? Yeah. Is the person who owns it going to do anything with it? And it just sits there, and it's... As you walk past it, it's just the the trash piles up and the trash piles up. And it, I, I guess it's nobody's responsibility, so nobody does anything about yeah. it. And that just looks horrific. And I, I understand that there are legal issues to get over, but get over them and do something with that building. It's just horrific. <laughs> I also think it's uh, from that little walkway you mentioned too. I think it's it's horrific for the uh, traffic passing through because they see that coming from the, you know, going through Bamley and that little sort. Yes, of, and that must, it looks bad. Awful, isn't it? It looks bad. Okay, so that's the ugly. And <laughs> I, I think I can agree. Well, I think most people agree with you there. So that that ticks the box. What about the sort of bad? <sighs> Don't look at me like that. The bad. Well. Mm. Everyone, everyone else is going to say traffic, so I'm not. Okay. Um, and also because I've been stuck in traffic in the United States, so I've been tr- stuck in traffic longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you go to LaGuardia Airport at rush hour. Yeah. Um, the bad... But this is great. There's I don't know. Here, I really... I mean, all places have things that irritate you from time to time, but um, I don't think there's anything really bad. Bad. Okay. Ah, ah that's not. I mean, that bad is a strong word. Okay. Well, what about the good? Now we could. Now oh, I got a list of good. I got a list of good, and a lot of people who have either been here their whole lives or have lived here longer than I have, because I've only been here three years. Okay. They'll probably accuse me of wearing rose-colored glasses, and I am coming from the United States, which, though big, does not have the history that that the. Banbury has, okay. um, and being a history buff, the, the fact that there is so much history here pleases me. Um, the fact that you know I can I can walk around and see so many buildings which are older than any city I ever lived in in the United States, and still being actively used makes me really happy. Um, I have found. You know, the town has a really nice feel to it. All towns have, you know, neighborhoods that you go, "Mm, maybe not. Um, (laughs) But by and large, you know, I have found Banbury itself to be very friendly, very, you know, pretty. I I enjoy my time here. It's located near anything I could possibly want to get to. And it has lots of bookshops, which makes me very happy. You do love bookshops. I do. I'm very bookish. Well, you wrote something which uh, I enjoyed. Mm. The uh, which is basically the most bizarre, fascinating history of uh, <laughs> which is full of prudes, drunkards, Drunk. murderers of uh, yes. Which is funny when you consider that everything here is named Puritans. Yes, 
Absolutely. You're <laughs> surrounded by it. Uh, put that gin away. Yes. But that, that was, you know, what got you involved in writing for that, that website? Um, I saw... I think I saw a mention. It's, the website is called Local History is Awesome. Yes. And it was started by this, this man named Will who thought that local history certainly wasn't something that is taught in schools. They, they, they hit the high points. Yes. On a national and international level, um, and it, as not as many of those as some people would like. So local <laughs> history sometimes gets forgotten. And as people move around, there are fewer and fewer people who know the, yeah. the history. And also – History, when it's taught in schools, is often taught to be as dull as possible. Yes. You know, I, you know, nobody, uh, there's things you got to get through and you memorize a couple of dates and that's fine. Yeah. But they don't have to make it so deadly. And he said, local history is really interesting. If you go into the documents, you know, people are doing some sort of wacky things. Yeah. And so he started writing these articles and I went to the website and I looked at it and I noticed there was not an article on Banbury. Um, which I thought was a shame because I think when people talk about Oxfordshire, they tend to overlook Banbury yes, a bit. Absolutely. Um, and so I asked him if he had it on his schedule. He did not, and he looked at some of my writing and he asked me if I wanted to write it. No, well. And uh, I said yes. So I grabbed my library card and off I went. Well, it's good to see. I, I, can I just read out this little sure. bit? Um, Banbury's full of writers. Behaviour, no less. Lots uh, of them. Uh, the people of Bambury have never hesitated to stand up for themselves, or oh, I like that, a trait which has some riotous results. There were some medieval moments of communal outrage, but the town seemed to be at its most bad-tempered in the 16th and 17th century. Oh, my goodness. The oldest, or oddest incident, I apologise, was probably in uh, 1589, where the townsfolk, understandably... Kicked off when religious Puritans, yes, those damn Puritans, uh, destroyed the town's Maypole in an attempt to prevent the annual May Day celebrations from occurring. Well, of course there'd be a riot. There were a couple of riots that grew out of the locals being denied their entertainments, whether it was the Maypole or the traditional um, alcoholic beverage from the, you know, election winner or something. If they... Did not get their traditional expected entertainments. They let people know that they weren't happy. Are we quite, quite traditionalist here, do you think? Or what I think certainly um, that from something back in the 16th and 17th century. They, they knew what they wanted. Like <laughs> they that. knew what they wanted. I like the way you put that. So... OK, now, so what we want to talk about is, is the, also a few news stories, some quirky news stories. I know mm. you, you're into uh, local history and mm -hmm. you're enjoying that. Have you got anything, have you found anything quirky um, out there? Well, it's not Banbury specific, okay. but it is, today is Ratification Day oh. in the United States. Um, and it is relevant to my being here because Ratification Day is the day that the Confederated Congress, which was the congressional body of the United States um, at the time, ratified the Treaty of Paris and officially brought hostilities between America and Great Britain to an end. Uh -huh. It was the official end of the American War of Independence. Well, the, or, you know, American Revolutionary War, as you call it here. <laughs> well, that's a bit quirky. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was that a that little... That. Yeah. I, I have a calendar of days. <laughs> There's a